Hi everybody, Father Bill Holtzinger here, and this is your Friday Reflection. And this will be a short one, I think, because I just need to make an announcement, basically. Uh, this week, in fact, tomorrow, which I'm recording this on Thursday, so tomorrow is Friday for the Friday Reflection. So maybe I'll say today is the last day that Sarah Doomer will be our interim principal. She's stepping aside due to family uh, needs and attentiveness that she needs to bring into her family. And uh, thank God when we heard that it was needed, we had some time to be able to seek out somebody else and, and help that out. So somebody else is coming. But I want to just let you know that, uh, and if you see Sarah Doomer, she's a parishioner. She comes to Mass, I think the 11, uh, 15 Mass every Sunday with her kids. And uh, just when you see her, let her know how much you love her and you appreciate what she's done. She's been a great addition. The staff was sad to see you. You have to move on but understood, because they've also been walking with her, and she shared some of the struggles that it's going on to do the things that she needs to do at home and in her, in her extended family. So that within our own parish, we had someone that was willing to step forward and take her place as the interim principal going forward to the end of the school year, and that is uh, Dr. Ann Irwin. Now, Dr. Ann Irwin has some 37 years' experience in public school, high school specifically, Hillsborough and Beaverton High School districts as an as a administrator, as a principal or vice principal. And she also spent many years at St. Matthew uh, with her kids as uh, students at the parish school there. So she comes to us with an abundance of experience. Her resume is impressive and her love for the community is clear. And I'm really looking forward, looking forward to this. She seems to be the right person for the right time because if, you know, Having a principal leave in the middle of the school year and pick up with another one is no small task. And actually, if you think about it, if you talk about like July or maybe June 29th or so, if you were to say June 29th of last year, from that point to, let's say, July 1 of this year, we would have gone through four principals. How is that? So we had Ashley, and then she had she was with us for many years, and so she uh, uh, decided to move on to St. Mary's Academy. And so then we were able to get Sarah Dumer to come step in uh, for the school year and help us out there for the interim, thinking that they'd be going through the whole year and maybe, who knows, longer than that. And it's pretty clear through this year that she's found probably that this is not her gig uh, as a principal, probably maybe as something as an advisor of such. So what we're going to do is when, when Ann Irwin comes on board, she'll be really full-time uh, on board in the, uh, the school as principal on Monday. But Sarah will still be one of our employees. She'll be what I call the assistant to the principal. I made up that word because basically she'll be doing things like um, budgeting, calendaring, uh, working with FACS, which is a company we do that parents use to make their payments about things. And that'll be just something that's off the plate of uh, Dr. Irwin. So she can just be concentrating on hands-on with the staff and hands-on with the students and the families. And when she asked me what we need... Uh, when I, we were doing an interview with a doctor, when I said, what we need is stability, because really, when she comes on board, she'll be the third principal in almost a year. And that's not good, but it is what it is. And you know what? Our our staff is great. They're solid. They will be fine. Uh, you know, that'll be tough on some of the, say, some of the fa parents who you know, were expecting, you know, some things to be going on with Sarah. But I, I think they'll be delighted when they get to know uh, Dr. Irwin, who I think will well, I know she knows more than Sarah and me about administrating a school, so I will be learning from Dr. Irwin myself, and I'm looking very much forward, because this is one of those things that, and I've made my comments to the Archdiocese and the Department of Schools about, you know, what do we need? Well, I know as a pastor, I need to be uh, taught how to be a pastor for a school. It's not, there's no, no, no classes for that. There's nothing that we're told how to do it. Uh, and Father Dave just had his genius. He was able to affect it by just what he did. And for me, it's similar, and that is just to be present, to be part of what's going on. And uh, this year I formed what I call a PLT, a parish leadership team, which consists of myself, Deacon Brett, uh, Father Anthony, Sarah Doomer as the principal, and uh, Dana Morano, who is our business manager, our new business manager. And what that is is a kind of a team that helps me to make decisions. We we find out things, we learn things. We, if there's something to be decided, it's with this team that I bring those things. And it could be almost anything to discern how to respond to whatever is going on and how we might go forward, go forward with certain things where just by myself making a decision, I'm likely to make a mistake or a knee-jerk reaction. And so this group is great. So I might talk about the PLT 
and that's the parish leadership team. And really, I think we kind of had something like that when Father Dave was here, but it wasn't maybe necessarily formulated in this kind of way, um, but very much the similar stuff. So that's what's going on. Uh, when Dr. Irwin is uh, on board, she'll probably write a letter in the um, our bulletin, and we'll have her come forward at the masses just to just to say hello and and make herself known to the community. Uh, today was Grandparents' Day, and this was really the first time that we announced her in the public. Uh, well, also Sarah Doomer m moving on, and also then uh, Dr. Irwin taking her place. <clears throat> when we did make the announcement that Sarah Doomer was moving on, we first, of course, told the staff. And then we immediately told uh, the school advisory committee personally, uh, and then sent an email out to all the, the affected families or the families of our parish that may be of interest, and those are the ones that are our, our school parents. So that's what we've done, and uh, again, stability is the thing, and I think, I think we got more than stability coming for us, that uh, at least, yes, there'll be now a third principal, but the person we have, uh, Dr. Irwin, I'm really looking forward to uh, working with her, and she works collabor collaboratively, as do I, and her. I'm, I'm really looking forward to her insights, her genius about uh, her work, and I'll now apply it from a high school level to a grade school level, and uh, yeah, I think I have something to learn, and I think all of the staff will be grateful as well. If you ever have any questions about these kind of things, uh, just let me know. Come see me or you know, throw me in or shoot me an email. I will be happy to respond to them. But um, praise God for what's happened. It's, it's wonderful. I'm, I feel so spoiled to be surrounded by such wonderful staff and the expertise within the school as well as the parish staff. Um, it's just wonderful. So thank you all, all parish staff and school and teachers and aides and all those in our learning center. Uh, all those who do the things with EC or early childhood uh, spaces. Um, keep up the good work. In the meantime, may God bless you. Oh, wait, hold on. One more thing, one more thing. Tomorrow, tomorrow, as you, if you're watching this on Saturday, or Friday, tomorrow would be Saturday, right? And on Saturday at 10 a.m., Archbishop Sample will be with us to celebrate confirmation. We have some 81 young people, preteens and teens, and about a dozen adults who have been walking through the RCIA process kind of in a short form just so they can get confirmed. They're already Catholics, but they just need to get confirmed. So I want to encourage you to go to that Mass because there's not going to be a Saturday morning, first Saturday morning Mass. Like on Friday tomorrow, again, you might be watching this already on Friday, but in the morning we'll have Mass followed by Adoration, uh, Benediction, and then it'll go on in the after Mass into the Day Chapel. But we would normally bring it back in the morning of Saturday, the first Saturday of the month, but because of the confirmation, that's been uh, canceled. There will be no confessions in the morning, no Mass, etc. And no one first anoint, holy anointing. We, we've, been, we've been doing that recently, doing uh, anointing of the sick on the first Saturdays. So that stuff is out this time around because of confirmation. And I would encourage you to come. So if you are doing a, uh, some kind of novena and going to first Saturdays, going to Masses on first Saturdays, come to the confirmation Mass. That, you could say, counts. It doesn't matter which one it is. It just says, come to Masses. Uh, come to a Mass on a Saturday for that novena. So there it is. And I'm now done. So have a great day. And I'll see you this weekend. I'm preaching. It's going to be scary. No, it's not. I'll see you, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.